Witnesses saw you making threats in Fist's bar. Stay away from him. I don't take orders from you. This is your only warning, Rex. You should warn Fist. I will kill him. Huh. You want me to arrest you? I want you to try. Ah, oh, dear. Brave man. He towers over you, buddy. Go on. Get out of here. <laughs> Do I know you, human? No. Not really. My name's Shepard. I'm going after Fist. Thought you might want to come along. <sighs> Shepard. Commander Shepard. I've heard a lot about you. We're both warriors, Shepard. Out of respect, I'll give you a fair warning. I'm going to kill Fist. Fist knows you're coming. We'll have a better chance if we all work together. My people have a saying. Seek the enemy of your enemy, and you will find a friend. Seek the enemy of your enemy, and you will find a friend. Rex, you're speaking in riddles. It's confusing my small puny brain, please. Uh, I assume that means you're uh, going to join? Does this mean you're part of my team, Rex? Let's go. I hate to keep Fist waiting. <laughs> Easy as that. Right, well, I better bring you along for the ride then, hunt I? Right. I think it's going to be Rex and Garrus. I think that's going to be my party uh, for now. Yes. And another situation where we uh, just quickly go through any salient codexes, which we have none. Uh, secondary, technology, communications. Basically, it's telling us about the extranet terminals, which is whoop de doodies. Uh, 10 points for Rex as well. Assault rifles, take a couple of points. Combat armor, take a couple of points. What does that do? Shield boost. Warp. You don't need to worry about this biotics as much because I've got my biotic powers myself. There we go. Nice and balanced. Excellent. Uh, we're, we'll see. We're going to go kill Fist. Uh, yeah, not quite yet, Rex. I've got a couple of things to do before I go killing people. Just a couple of records to set straight, you know. Killing can wait for now. A Solarian excavation team has run into an unexpected problem after unearthing a Prothean dig site. Hanar protesters have blockaded the dig site, claiming that artifacts of the Enkindlers, as the Hanar call them, should not be disturbed. The excavation team has appealed to Hanar representatives on the Citadel to reach a diplomatic solution. Okay. <coughs> We'll speak with the Elcor diplomat first. Uh, let him know that the uh, rumors were spread by Septimus, and then we can go speak with the Asari consort. Maybe, maybe she she said that she would grant me my desires if I did her task for her. So I better get thinking what I desire. What rewards do I want her to bestow upon me? Ooh, the mind boggles. Ah, Captain! Yes, before I get to that, I have a, to confront you. What does I hear about spectres? You've got some explaining to do. Yes, Commander. Is there something you need? Yes, there is, actually. Spill You and beans. Saren have a history. What happened? Well, not this again. About 20 years ago. I was part oh, of a mission on, in the Skillian. Saren eliminated it, but I saw how he operates. No conscience. No hesitation. He'd kill a thousand innocent civilians. I should go. I should I'll be go. here if you need me. No, yes, I Commander, is go. there something you need? Spectres! I want to know more about the Spectres. Oh. They're not your typical government agency. They tend to work alone, behind the scenes. They take care of problems the Council can't. It's not easy preserving peace across an entire galaxy. The Council prefers to use diplomacy and negotiation. But sometimes more extreme measures are needed. Okay. Very good. Very good. Ah, okay. Uh, fine. I should go. I'll be here if you need anything. I can't confront him about him being a spectre just yet for some reason, but I won't let this, I won't let this lie, Captain. Don't you worry, I'll be back. Right. Ah, this is him. Zelton. 
pleased greeting. Hello, human. Strained greeting, no, human. strained greeting. Oh. This is really not a good time. Yes, yes, yes. I'm here to help you. I know who revealed your secret. It was a Turian named Septimus. Unbelieving. I know this Septimus, and he could not learn my secrets. The only way he could learn them is from the Asari consort. Here, this should be proof enough for you. Confused. This is difficult to fathom. If the Turian could learn this on his own, dismayed, anyone can discover my secret. Ah, don't worry about it. I'm sure the thing will be bright and rosy. Today's gossip is uh, bound to be forgotten tomorrow. Well, this Septimus is, juicy, is a powerful <laughs> man, and it wasn't easy for him to find. Relieved. I suppose you are correct, human. Thank you for this information. Startled realization. I must speak with the consort. She will be most displeased with my actions. Anxious request. Please, human, if you will excuse me, I must go now. Yes. Goodbye. So long. Farewell, human. Thankful. Oh. That was a great thing you did, Commander. Approving. You see, then not all humans are as you say. Bah! Whatever. <laughs> oh, I'm speaking. sure the Earth Clan stands to profit oh, from this in some way. Yeah. Apologetic. Not listen yeah. to I don't mean to be rude and cut you off mid-flow, but if I listen to you talk much longer, I'm gonna drop off to sleep. <laughs> Bloomin' Elcor in their sloth-like ways. Bless their hearts. Probably beat at, what, 20 beats per minute? <laughs> okay. Asari Consort, let's go and speak with her. Let's see if we can go the right way this time. Which is the right way to go, which is a quick way. I think it's this one. So, so far we have met the, the, the Elcor, the slow swafe, slow speaking that have to speak their thoughts people. We've met the, the, the Volus, the <laughs> Earth Clan people. Uh, we've met the, uh, the Hanna, the Jellies, the people, the Hannas that speak in the third person because they uh, <coughs> only speak in first person to their loved ones. And who else? The, the Turians and the Asari and the Salarians, uh, the, the uh, council races, of course. And then there's the, the Krogan and the Quarians. Intergalactic races, it's great! Uh, do I need an appointment now? Septimus has sent word. Apparently he sought the consort's forgiveness. Ah, so I can go right on in. Thank you so much. That's hey, it's her with the strange time. haircut again. Hey, see you haven't taken my advice yet. Why is he looking downwards? I'm looking, have you seen him? Why are you looking down, Shepard? Why? Here she is. Guys, you might want to wait outside whilst I uh, claim my prize. It's not for general viewing, I think. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I am a man of respect. Commander, I recently received a lovely note from Septimus. Thank you for speaking with him. Not a problem. Even the Alcor diplomat has withdrawn his campaign against me. <laughs> Always glad to help, of course. It was my honor to aid you. You are too kind, Commander. Mm -hmm. But I would not expect you to help me out of the kindness of your heart. Why not? I also have one more thing to give you, if you are interested. <laughs> of course I'm interested. I'd be honored. I offer a gift of words, an <clears throat> affirmation of who you are and who you will become. Words? I see you. Your uniform fits as though you were born wearing it. You are a soldier through and through, proud, solitary, alone. But it gives you strength. You never hide your strength, either. It serves you well, terrifies your foes. Few will dare to stand against you. This may be who you are, but it is not who you will become. It only forms the basis for your future greatness. 
Remember these words when doubt descends, Commander. Ah, I thank you for your excellent words. You have quite a gift, Chaira. Thank you. Not everyone appreciates it as you do. Mm. Never underestimate the power of words. Here, Commander. In light of your efforts with the Elcor Ambassador, I would like you to have this small trinket. Uh, a trinket? What is it? A small mystery. I have never learned its use or purpose, but I sense it is time for me to pass it on. And now I must ask you to leave. I have done everything I can for you. Thank you, Asari Consort, for your my words, kind words and your trinket. They will give you strength. It's not what I initially had in my mind for reward, but hey, I suppose it'll have to do. Okay, um, <clears throat> what am I looking at? Uh, what trinket did she give me for a starter? Did you give me something useful? So I have a bottle of pistols. Um, what am I using? I'm using mainly a uh, assault rifle. And I have the decent one already with these upgrades. There's nothing else armor-wise that I can use, is there? That I've missed. Which leaves me... Uh, any amps yet? No amps? Okay. Just quickly... Garrus, he's using a uh, Turian armor, which nothing new. He's also using an assault rifle, so uh, we'll give him the Banshee. Okay. And uh, Rex is using the... I think he uses shotguns, doesn't he? Give him... Uh, that. Okay, and then two points to spend for me. Why only two? Okay, one in charm. Ah, what else do I need? Assault rifles probably would be decent. Garrus, I think first aid, and some more decryption, mm, tactical armor, probably is best, and Rex, again combat armor, and Krogan Battlemaster, good. And spin the wheel of misfortune, and we're done. Okay, well, so we've spoken with Shaira. And just put my bearings and see what's left for us to do on the Citadel. Scan the keepers. Okay, uh, nothing. I think it's just time for us to take down Fist. That is all that is left for us to do, unless, of course, there is a mission which I sort of skipped over off camera because I couldn't do it yet, and that was involving a Hannah that was preaching in the uh, Presidium. So I'm just going to go quickly run down there and see if I can actually solve the dispute. If I can't, I shall press on to uh, Cora's Den once more, and if I can, well, excellent. It's one more problem sorted by Commander Shepard. Okay, here they are having their arguments. He wants to preach uh, about the Inkindlers, or aka Protheans, and this guy wants to shut him down because he says you can't preach here. So, who do I want to side with? I'm afraid I'm going to have to side with the CSEC guy. Has the CSEC officer been assuaged? No. This isn't the way, Hannah. Is this really how you want to represent the Inkindlers? The truth of the Enkindlers must be made known. They gave the Hanar language, and gave the universe the mass relays. This one only wishes to spread the truth to any who will listen. There is no intent to cause trouble. Ugh. Fine, you know what? Just to shut these folks up, I'm actually going to buy them a permit. What if I purchase the evangelical permit for you? Finances are only a partial limitation. This one does not believe that one should pay in order to speak the truth. However, 
This one also does not possess the 150 credits necessary to purchase the permit. Look, you do now. Buy the damn permit and get on with your business. 150 credits? This should cover you. This is a most appreciated action. You are not of the Hanar, but you wish to help spread the truth of the Enkindlers. No. Not really. This one will not cause any further trouble for the CSEC officer. This one offers its thanks. And this one was happy to oblige. <sighs> I was hoping to get some XP from that mission, but uh, uh, maybe I have to speak to this guy. I see the Hanar has left. Thank you. Not a problem. Happy to help. Here, for your ah, assistance in this go. matter. Now we get. Now, now you'll excuse me. I should report to my superiors. Now we're talking rewards. That's marvelous.